Hey everyone, this is Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. If you are being blessed and challenged by our Word for the Day series or our weekend sermons, would you leave a comment, like it, and share it on your Facebook page? Go ahead and do that right now. See, every time you do this, you partner with us in spreading a message of hope and encouragement. And all of us will admit we need more hope and encouragement today. Now, I have a personal question for you. Before the social distancing and the stay-at-home request began, did you have a friend that you just weren't getting along with? Uh, maybe you've actually enjoyed social distancing because you don't have to see that person right now. Well, today in Philippians 4, verses 2 through 7, Paul, as he's writing, actually calls out two women's behavior and urges them to settle their disagreement. Let's read and narrow down our focus to verses 2 through 4. Paul writes this. Now, I appeal to you, Euodia and Sundache, please, because you belong to the Lord, settle your disagreement. And I ask you, my true partner, to help these two women, for they worked hard with me in telling others the good news. They worked along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are written in the book of life. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Now, can you imagine if during the weekend sermon, Pastor Chad or myself began to mention your name and call you out for your bad behavior? What if we began talking about the sins that you struggle with and pointed you out? Well, we would all be shocked. We'd be hurt. And that's never going to happen, by the way. And we'd be shocked and hurt. And you might even start attending the church down the road if we did. Well, this, that's almost exactly what Paul did in this passage. Two women, two fellow followers of Jesus... Two women who had worked hard with Paul in telling others the good news about Jesus. See, in the past, they had worked with Paul to tell others about forgiveness of sin. And now, these two women were not forgiving one another's sin. They had allowed something to push them apart. Something to create division. And now that Paul wrote about it, everybody knew about it. Well, the reality is this. As followers of Jesus, we know disagreements happen. We're not always going to agree with each other, but we need to be careful that we do not allow our preferences or our opinions separate us from fellow followers of Jesus, especially those who are our co-workers and co-laborers. See, if you're having a disagreement with another follower of Jesus, I want to encourage you to settle that disagreement with them. Send them a text, a message, an email to get the conversation going forward. Be the first to apologize. Swallow your pride. Walk in humility. Disagreements with other believers that lead to division, they weigh us down. And as Paul said in verse 4, we should always be filled with joy. Now let your bitter disagreement turn into great joy by rolling up your sleeves and begin the hard work of reconciliation. That disagreement that you've had has dragged on long enough. Use this quarantine time wisely. Be a peacemaker. Rekindle that friendship and be filled with great joy. Now, if today's devotional has blessed you, like it and share it on your page and with others. God bless.